All right, guys, I think I know why ColourPop is inexpensive. My palette just broke. I still think their shadows are A1. I still think they're bomb ass book. Okay? Okay. going to go all in I don't know if it's the backdrop I don't know if it's the makeup I don't know if it's the foundation the highlight glow gods where you at I do not know you guys but I am living for this eye tutorial I feel like I definitely challenged myself this year to play around with color and I feel like I did it I feel like the more I get to do makeup and the more I experiment with color, the more I love it and I dig it and, I, mm, and I'm in it to win it, you know what I mean? So in today's video, we are going to be getting ready using only affordable and drugstore makeup. This is the look that I decided to come out with, something... This was not planned. I don't know where this came from, but mm, I am living. Anyways, guys, if you want to learn how to recreate this eye look, or if you just want to hang out with me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become part of our T-Squad family. And also don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like this video. Don't forget to check out all my other videos and content on my channel. Guys, I really hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started into today's eye look. Mm, bitch, look at that glow. I think I'm gonna remove my earrings and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put them back on because I feel como que me voy a lastimar, you know? To start off, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with foundation. I seen a lot of people try this foundation out. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried it. For foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild. I believe. I hate the smell of this. It smells literally like paint. Wait, I got some on my nose. But I've never tried it. I don't remember what I think of it. So I really, really, really want to try it out. I feel like I've been breaking out really bad. I don't know. I feel like it's something that I'm using. I just don't know what it is. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply this everywhere. I don't know if this is like full coverage or what it's supposed to do. And I know that the shade is really off, but I'm just going to have to work with it. I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Oh, it smells so bad. It's giving me pretty good coverage that I will say. Really, really like it. I wonder if you guys have tried this foundation and what do you think of it? My coworker was raving about it. And I'm like, you know what? I need to try it out. Let me know in the comment section down below what is one of your favorite drugstore products. What do you guys like? I want to know. I want to try it out. So this is definitely drying out to like a satin matte finish. I wouldn't say this is dewy or glowy or anything like that. And I do have a pretty good moisturizer underneath. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer 12 Hour Wear by the brand Catrice. I love this stuff. I think it's so full coverage. So it doesn't cake up on me or anything like that. So I just, I love it. I'm going to drag the concealer onto my eyelid and I'm going to use that as an eyeshadow primer. I really want to try this concealer. This is by the Dollar brand AOA Studio. They did send this over and I really want to try it out. Oh no, that is like yellow. Let me go ahead and blend that out and see what it does. It is a little bit on the drier side, like it feels thick. 
pasty. I'm going to take this AOA Sculpt Fix Contour Stick. This is by the brand AOA. This is in the shade Latte. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with the forehead. Oh, that looks muddy. Let me just do the forehead and let me see how that looks. It looks actually pretty cool tone for my liking, but let's see. Probably blend it out really, really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some like that. And then I'm only gonna apply some on the tip of the nose right here. take the ColourPop Translucent Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and set my entire face, but first I'm going to start with the under eye area. Okay, right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera just because I don't really have a brow product from the drugstore and then I'll come back. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust away the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin just because I feel like it's a little bit too matte for my liking. Go ahead and bronze my skin with the NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring some, some color back into my skin. And take the Physicians Formula uh, Bronzer Booster, and I'm going to take a contour brush. This is the M437. I'm actually going to mix these two shades here. I'm just going to go ahead and chisel my cheekbones with this. Moving on, I'm going to take this Mixed Metals Palette. And I'm going to take the really pink shade in the palette. This one does have some type of shimmer in it, which I don't mind because it's not glittery. As you guys can see, it just gives me color. Moving on to the fun part, we're going to go ahead and do the eyes real quickly. And for this, I'm actually going to take some tape on the back of my hand just so we can have a sharper and a cleaner eye and because i'm going to be working with palettes i've never worked before i don't know if they're going to be intensely uh, pigmented and have fallout or anything like that so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this i have two palettes here that i really want to work with i have the wonder lust palette by profusion and the shades i'm really drawn to are these here the greens emeralds kind of color here I also recently just picked up the Chasing Rainbows palette by ColourPop. This is, I believe, part of their holiday collection. Something very different, something very unique, something that I don't have in my collection already. So I really, I feel like when you look at this palette, it looks pretty overwhelming, but it's actually not too overwhelming. I think I'm going to be using both of the palettes today and let's see what we come out with. I'm actually going to start with the shade Wake. This is a baby pink color. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I did review the Becky G collection with ColourPop. And if you guys did not know, ColourPop is one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this in the R37 by Morphe. And I'm actually going to work this as my transition shade. going to go back and forth and build the intensity of this pink shadow. Moving on to another shade, I'm going to take the shade Wish List, which is a little bit darker than the first one we used. And I'm going to place this shade right underneath the first one. Next, I'm moving to the M513 by Morphe, and I kind of want to play with the blue. I'm gonna do with this one. So I'm going to take the shade Bring It, which is teal blue kind of color in the palette. I'm going to start by working this on the outer part. And again, I'm going to start by packing it and then I'm going to go in and blend it out. 
Moving on to the palette, I am actually going to take the shade Realness, which is the dark brown, dark red in the palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on the lash line and in the outer part of the eye. All right guys, so up next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade On One, which is like the blue greenish from the palette, and this is a metallic shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm going to place this on top of the blue. Oh, yes, bitch. Look at how pretty that shade is and I didn't even wet my brush, like, mmm, mmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade here, which is like a baby blue kind of color. And I'm also going to pick up these green shadows here. I love these green shadows, you guys are so beautiful. But first I'm gonna take that baby blue color. I'm going to work it right here in the inner, in the middle part of the eye. So that one is not as intense. So now I'm going to pick up this shade here called Majesty and I absolutely love this shade. It's a really lime green shade. Pick some up and I'm also going to spritz my brush because I do want this to be pretty intense in the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and apply it. Oh yes, y'all. So we're going to go back into this palette here and I'm actually going to take a brand new brush that I just purchased. This is the Morphe M321 and I actually want to buff some purple just because I did went ahead and put um, purple eyeliner. So I'm going to start with the shade Wishlist, which is the pink shadow. And I'm just going to go ahead and look up into my mirror and I'm just going to go ahead and buff this. I'm going to go ahead and take this small pencil brush and I'm actually going to pick up the shade Keep Cool, which is the purple, the matte purple from the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and look up into my mirror and I'm just going to go ahead and buff this. Ooh, I like it. I am going to pick up some of this bright purple shade and I'm gonna go ahead and buff this real quick I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp my lash line with this going back into the chasing rainbows palette I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this shade here and it's like a dark purple kind of color close to black oh no and I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. I'm only gonna do that to my outer corner. I don't know if I should take, should I take this shade? What is this? Oh, nope. That has like yellow reflex to it. I don't want that. What about this one? That has a purple reflex. I don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here. This is in the shade Eclipse. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in the inner corner. Oh, yes. Living, living, living. Do you guys see how bright and intense and pigmented that inner corner is? We are looking pretty nice and snatched. Now, we need a lip. And we need highlight. For highlight, I'm going to go ahead and take the ColourPop Becky G Collab in the shade Cheesme. You guys already saw my review on this. You guys already know how much I like it. A moment of silence for this, please. Oh, Lord. 
Where are the glow gods? Glow gods, where are you at? I swear you guys need this. You need this. You watching me, you need this. Do you guys like highlight as much as I do? Because if you do, and you're looking for a bomb blinding one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, oh, this is actually not affordable, fuck. I'm gonna take the Kylie one, but this is actually not affordable. Oh my God, how did that whole game? Okay, let me see how this one looks. This is Maybelline in the shade 535. This looks way too dude. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my lip liner. I always ask myself, what is the G19 going to work for? I just figured it out. Guys, and this is the finished and completed look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Why are my eyes watering? I've been on Red Bull. I'm dying of hunger. I was supposed to film like another video, but you know what, two is enough. I gotta go. All right, and this is the finished and completed look. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I feel like I am living, I am loving it. Something a little bit more different. Put it in the comment section down below. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What don't you like? What do you like? Let me know. So guys, before you leave, if you liked this tutorial, this full face of drugstore or affordable makeup, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not yet a part of our T Scott family and you'd like to join, don't forget to subscribe in the link down below. Don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I upload a video and so you don't miss out tomorrow's video. That being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look and I will catch you guys in my next video very soon. Bye guys. Good thing it's a magnetic palette so even if they come out, you can still pop them back in there. I forgot what this one was called but I think it was here.